Good day ladies and gentlemen, Rosa here of Splat Communications and Simplified Strategic Solutions. Our video for today is about the comparison of the LELO Research Survey results with fieldwork last March 15 to 22, 2022 and our Splat Kelly Survey Summary from March 1 to 15, 2022. Both have the same number of respondents at 3,000 and the same margin of error nationwide is also similar at plus minus 2%. After the comparison, we shall quantify the survey data of LELO research in terms of the possible actual votes and compare the figures of the first to the third rank presidential candidate to provide a clearer understanding of what the survey numbers can actually mean. We shall immediately start after the brief channel intro, thank you. By the way, may we make a few requests. First, please do not skip ads as this helps us to remain independent. Second, kindly subscribe to the channel if you have not done so yet. Third, kindly make it a habit to share the videos so that others can be informed too. It is important that relevant information are shared with as much people we can as election day draws near. Thank you. Lastly, we do not force anyone to believe or agree with the results and the analyses that we publish. Everyone has the right to agree or disagree with it. That is the essence of democracy. However, being in disagreement does not give the right to anyone to be disrespectful, rude, and throw baseless accusations on anyone. Thank you. Let us watch the brief video topic intro for a short while and then we shall start with the comparison of the statistical data, then we shall present the quantification of votes based on the latest LELO research survey. For those of you who are new, we quantify survey data to make it easier for the viewers and subscribers to understand. What we do is we translate the preference shares into numerical data in terms of its equivalent in the number of votes based on the actual number of registered voters for the May 2022 elections. This provides a clearer picture of the survey numbers. Thank you. Let us now look at our Kelly survey summary result from March 1 to 15, 2022 with 3,000 respondents margin of error is plus minus 1.79% confidence level is 95%. As previously explained in a prior video, the spread of the respondents for these results are based on the actual number of registered voters per region. Let us revisit our nationwide results March 1 to 15, 2022, undecided is 13.2%. In descending order, Former Senator Ferdinand Marcos Jr. leads all presidential aspirants with 54.2 preference shares nationwide. He is followed by VP Lenny Robredo with 13.4%. Tied for third and fourth places are Manila Mayor Isco Domagoso and Senator Manny Pacquiao with 9% and 8.5% preference shares, respectively. They are followed by Senator Ping Laxon with 1.8% preference share nationwide. Now, let us compare the results between our March 1st to 15th call yes survey summary with the Layla Research March 15th to 22nd both year 2022. Kindly look at the topmost row for the Layla Research survey results for presidential preference shares. In descending order, former Senator Ferdinand Marcos Jr. leads all presidential aspirants with 61% preference share. He is followed by VP Lenny Robredo with 19%. Third is Manila Mayor Isco Domegoso with 9% preference share. Fourth is Senator Manny Pacquiao with 5%. He is followed by Senator Ping Laxon with 2% preference share nationwide as per LELO research results. Let us now compare the two studies. Why is there a need to compare? We compare statistical survey surveys to show whether there are major or significant statistical differences between two studies. Through this process, we are able to validate the results. 
Based on data science, it's best practice to compare data with the same number of respondents to avoid skewed or inaccurate data comparison results. Kindly focus your attention to the bottom row enclosed in the red rectangle, please look at the numbers of Manila Mayor Isco Domagoso. As can be seen, there is zero difference between the results of the two studies. Now, kindly look at the numbers for Senator Ping Laksen. There is a difference of just 0.2 percentage points between the two studies. For Senator Manny Pacquiao, there is a 3.5 percentage point difference. For VP Lenny Robredu, there is just a 5.6 percent difference and with former Senator Ferdinand Marcos Jr., there is a difference of 6.8 percent percentage points. If we factor in the margin of error of plus minus 2% nationwide in both studies then we can say that both studies do not have any major or significant statistical difference. Let us be reminded of the fact that LALO is a scientific survey while our Kolya survey summaries are not. There are no major or significant statistical difference between the two survey results. The results validate each other. Before we proceed to the highlight of this video, we would like to welcome the new members of our growing community. We'd also like to give a shout out to all regular subscribers. Kindly share our videos so that others may be informed too. Thank you. Let us now look at the quantification of survey data based on the results of the latest LALO research survey with fieldwork March 15 to 22, 2022. Fact, there is approximately 67 million registered voters nationwide as per Comelec data. Assumptions, the voter turnout is set at 82% based on the previous election. This translates to about 54,940,000 votes. We shall now quantify the data based on preference shares and estimated possible votes. For former Senator Ferdinand Marcos Jr., who garnered the highest preference share nationwide at 61% in the latest LALO research survey results. This is equivalent to about 33,513,400 votes. For VP Lenny Robredo, she is estimated to receive approximately 10,438,600 votes. In third place, Manila Mayor Isco Domegoso's 9% preference shares translates into around 4,944,600 votes. For Senator Manny, approximately 2,747,000 votes while for Senator P, it is estimated that he will garner around 1,098,800 votes. Now, let us compute for the estimated vote lead from the first rank to the third rank presidential candidate. This will just be basic subtraction, we shall just deduct their estimated votes from one another. At second place, let us deduct VP Lenny Robredo West's estimated number of votes from first-ranked former Senator Ferdinand Marcos Jr.'s estimated number of votes. This would yield approximately 23,074,800 votes in favor of former Senator Ferdinand Marcos Jr. With the same operational procedure for third-ranked Manila Mayor Isco Domegoso, Former Senator Ferdinand Marcos Jr. would approximately lead Mayor Isco by 28,518,800 votes. Now, let us compute for the vote lead of 2nd rank VP Lenny Robredo against 3rd rank Mayor Isco Domagoso. This would yield an approximate 5,494,000 votes lead in favor of VP Lenny Robredo. Our analysis is our own, we do not force anyone to believe in the data and the analysis that we provide. That is the essence of democracy, however. Let us all maintain civility. Thank you. Our analysis will be short and sweet, with 41 days to go before the elections. The camp second rank presidential candidate VP Lenny Robredo should convert 562,000 voters per day. On the other hand, 
The camp of Manila Mayor Isko Dumatiso has to convert around nearly 700,000 votes per day to catch up with survey frontrunner former Senator Ferdinand Marcos Jr. There is no way that anyone can catch up. We were the first ones to say it before, we will say it over and over again. Game over. We have reached the end of today's video. What can you say? Kindly share your thoughts in the comment portion. Just a gentle reminder that the words you choose is a direct reflection of you as a person. Thank you. In behalf of my partner Rina and the rest of the Splat Communications and Simplified Strategic Solutions team. Thank you. Till next time. Stay safe. Rosa out. Bye.